video sucks. <laughs> I'm tired of crawling around on the ground. Chris, get Becky's Jeep done, damn get, it. Get her Jeep done. <laughs> okay, the flies. This is why we had a lift installed. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't have to do this. Okay. Okay, last thing. What's up, Life Break Nation? Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. So, over the last several months, a lot of you guys have been asking nonstop, where's the Bronco? Where's plan B? What happened to the Bronco content? So, remember, we were traveling for three and a half months, and we were driving the stepchild the entire time. Obviously, we didn't have the Bronco with us. So, understandable about the questions, because we've had yeah. several months of no Bronco content. Right, we left for EJS in April, and we didn't get home until sometime in June, almost July or something? Almost July. Yeah, so we were gone. We couldn't have the Bronco, but... You know who did have the Bronco was Dan from Next Venture Motorsports, and that is because they were doing a crap ton <laughs> of R&D, essentially using our four-door Bronco Badlands with a Sasquatch package to do a ton of research and development to create all of those shiny new parts there's, that you see on our Bronco. There's shiny parts, there's lights in here, there's shiny stuff underneath, there's shiny stuff in the back. Now Dan over at Next Venture Motorsports makes all the armor for the stepchild. Absolutely. So it's skids, it's sliders, it's bumpers, it's all kinds of good stuff. So we're gonna today yeah. finally show you why and what has been done to our Ford Bronco because I know a lot of you have been waiting for content for it, but also I know a lot of you have been waiting for companies to come out with awesome new and improved products. And we have a ton to show you here. And there is some good news and a little bit of bad news, but we'll go over that. We'll, we'll cover that later. Yeah. All right, so the easiest way is to just jump right into this. We'll start from the front. We'll move underneath where I'll throw Brittany under the Bronco to Thanks. film. <laughs> and, then, and then we'll move to the back as well. So, all right, as you notice, we have a nice shiny aluminum bumper sitting right here. Now this is gonna save 30 pounds over the factory steel bumper, which is, it's great. It's always great to save weight. So that's a benefit of aluminum over steel. It's also super strong. You don't have to worry about that. Now he has recovery points as well, which are upgraded and go directly to the frame. So these are gonna be stronger than the factory as well. So all this is thought through. Now, if you have a loaded Bronco like ours, where you have parking sensors, you have the collision avoidance, you have the adaptive cruise control, if you have all that stuff, this bumper has the provision for that. So you'd order it that way. Now it also has a relocation bracket for the collision avoidance and the adaptive cruise control, which moves it out of the way. Normally it's mounted down in here, so you have better airflow to the intercooler, and it also keeps the adjustability because you have to calibrate it. If anything ever happens, if you are ever in an accident or you do move it, there's a little rod that keeps it adjustable. Now the other brackets on the market don't have that adjustability, the factory adjustability anymore. So that's actually really important. Um, I'm loving the fact that it does save the weight because once you add a winch to it, you're kind of back at what that factory steel bumper was alone, right? You're adding a 30, 40 pound winch. So that's really cool. All right, now speaking of winches, Ford kind of really- He's not talking about me. <laughs> winches, not winches. Thanks. So Ford kind of really messed up, not gonna sugarcoat it. This is the 2.7 liter. With the 2.7, there's actually an oil cooler under here, and that's why some of these slots are here is to be able to allow more airflow to the oil cooler to keep things cooler. Well, with that there, you can't fit the winch where we wanted. Now the 2.3 doesn't have the oil cooler, and the plan for the 2.3 is to have the winch mounted between the frame rails up under here, and your winch will come out the front that way, and it's hidden and protected. With the 2.7, you have the oil cooler there, you have a front mount intercooler here for the turbo, you have your radiator and AC condenser, so there's nowhere to hide. Logistically. Right, there's nowhere to really put a winch hidden and, and tucked away. So what happens is, this is a non-winch bumper. To do the winch on the 2.7, unfortunately, you're gonna lose approach angle and you're gonna kinda lose looks because it has to sit, it has to sit out here. It has to sit between the intercooler and between the grill and radiator, and if you see other bumpers that have them, they're this big, unit sitting out here and unfortunately as you're crawling and you're going down stuff that one i don't like the looks of it out there it just is what it is so this bumper is for people who aren't going to want to run a winch and then the 2.3 bumper will have the winch actually tucked away hidden under here where the oil cooler kind of is for the 2.7 so and we're still working with them too to try to design an alternative winch mounting system yeah for the 2.7 we're trying to figure it out because i really don't like this big, you know, winch sticking out to here. But it's also and, not super functional in terms of cooling because it blocks a lot of really important 
course. Yeah, it, it, it does. So another thing that's cool about the bumper is it actually has provisions for lights. So I think these are little S1s that are sitting back here. So cool little floodlights that are hidden, tucked away. Really oh. protected so you don't got to worry about knocking them out on a rock. Yep. Now also this skid down here is separate from the bumper. This is a separate, separate piece that will actually attach to the factory steel bumper if you so choose to keep the factory steel bumper. But you want more cooling and like an upgraded skid because I hit the factory steel one on a rock and it caved the whole yeah, thing it in. Did not it, was pretty, well. <laughs> it was pretty destroyed. So this gives you more clearance and better airflow. So that's actually pretty neat. Apparently Kevin wasn't kidding when he talked about throwing me underneath the Bronco. <laughs> I told you. So Bex LJ is on our lift, so I can't easily put this up on a lift anywhere to show you this better, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with what we've got here. So as you can see, the entire bottom of this has a brand new aluminum skid system from Next Venture Motorsports as well. So you have the engine and differential skid up front, you have the transmission and sway bar skid here. You have the transfer case skid right here and an entire fuel tank skid right there. Now, if you'll remember on the factory skid system, especially right here on the transfer case, they had no support for the dinky little like skid plate that they had right here. And the moment we touched a rock to it, it bent it upwards. Yeah, it was kind of like out in space. It kind of just was like yeah. a little half loop. It, and it had no... support here, but nowhere out over here. So it was, there was no rigidity to it. Yeah. So the Next Venture Motorsports skid system actually introduces a brand new heavy duty steel cross member that actually goes across right here. So it increases the strength and rigidity of not just the frame, but also the entire skid system as well. So you know that this isn't going anywhere. Now, in addition to that, the fuel tank right here, this skid actually replaces the factory fuel tank skid. So you get weight savings there, along with a little bit more ground clearance as opposed to layering it on top of the factory skid like some skid systems do. So here, let me see the camera, see if I can get a better- <laughs> I'm glad you can be under the <laughs> my fat <laughs> All right, so this entire skid system is actually designed with quarter inch aluminum. And as you can see, it's also intentionally designed with as few gaps and cracks as possible. And what that does is that minimizes these skid plates from catching on rocks and obstacles when you're off-road. The coverage under here is super, super close-knit and pretty great. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the stepchild, you'll also be happy to hear that this entire skid system will be available with a UHMW option. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically a type of plastic, stands for ultra high molecular weight, I believe. And essentially it is a self lubricating plastic. You can actually see here on the slider system. They do have it on here as well. And essentially what it does is it allows you to slip and slide over rocks. So it even minimizes more the ability for you to catch or drag on things. It's super effective. We had it on our ultra four car skid plate system. We have it on the Jeep skid system. And as you can see, we'll get into this in a little bit. It's on the sliders on the Bronco as well. You'll also be happy to hear that that skid system will be available for all of your configurations. So big engine, small engine, manual transmission, automatic transmission, four door, two door, It'll all be available, so yay. Now, Next Venture Motorsports also has come up with a pillar light brackets. Now, what's cool about these is it's a no drill, no hardware required. It literally mounts right here on the factory mounting points. With now, factory you, hardware. Yeah, with factory hardware even. Now, you're gonna get one light per side. These are Baja Design Squadrons. We got them in the yellow. I do like the amber, they look cool, and it's great for dust and fog. And we didn't show you earlier, well, we kind of showed you, but the front bumper has these little S1s. So these are Baja Designs. These fit right in here. Great little fog. It just adds to the look and you get some actual flood out in front of the Bronco. Ah, getting attacked by a wasp. So if you're wondering where we are, we're actually in where we call, we call it the back 40. This is actually our property at our house. Our house is up there. Like, well, yeah, it's a big, Way that's a big, big hill over there, yeah. A lot of people don't realize our property actually comes back down and we have this whole open space here as well. Yeah, we have all this really cool. I don't know what to do with it. We don't know what to do with it yet uh, because it does flood frequently down here. So it limits our options, but it does offer a really cool place to kind of do videos. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're out in the middle of nowhere. So this is really neat, but this it's is, super yeah. super secluded. Now, what Kevin also didn't mention is in addition to the, obviously the light brackets here, 
They also offer, Next Venture Motorsports does, a light mounting bracket for the factory front bumper as well. Clearly, we don't have the factory front bumper on here, so I can't show you those. But for those of you who do want to keep your factory front bumper, the steel bumper, again, there's no drilling required. Factory hardware, factory mounting points, those are also really cool as well. Now, something else that we've shown you guys before, but I do want to take a quick minute to show you again, are the rock sliders for this Bronco. Now, we worked really closely with Next Venture to make these as amazing, as close clearance, and as sturdy as humanly possible. Yeah, now they are they are body mounted, but they yeah. are reinforced and overly reinforced, and then open that door up. So, up. so we made sure that they there was clearance, but we also wanted it to be kind of as close as possible. We wanted to get it up really close, high and tight to the body, just like we did on our Jeep, to provide you the most protection possible, because especially on the Bronco, the body rounds out which isn't the greatest when it comes to being out in the rocks. But these sliders are sturdy as hell. And I showed you earlier as well, they do have UHMW down yeah. along the bottom so on these. So that's new. We They did that while they've had it. Yep, and that's not gonna help only with minimizing friction like I talked about on the skid system, but it's also gonna help to absorb impacts. You're not gonna have rock connecting directly to metal and it's going to make your ride inside the cab a lot less jarring and a lot more comfortable. All right, now let's move on to the rear bumper, which is also aluminum and super sick. As you can see, we have some Baja Designs S1s that are in the rear bumper. We also have our rear parking sensors. So you have a provision for that. Now, if you don't have that in yours, obviously you order the bumper that doesn't have those. Now, what's really good is that you're gaining ground clearance and departure angle because it does sit up higher than the factory bumper and your recovery points here are actually mounted in line with the frame rails which is unlike the factory bumper this is in line with the frame rails and set up higher so again you're gaining more ground clearance and departure angle and more strength and recovery points now one thing here as you can see we're missing our uh, tow hitch and that's because i was told if i removed the tow hitch i would get my bronco faster that didn't happen <laughs> we still had to wait a long time for it but there is a provision here for if you do have the factory tow hitch, which is awesome. And it's actually rated at the factory rating. And you can also see it is cut out here for the spare tire, which also makes a very wonderful step. Now he does have these gussets here, which if you need to step up there, you actually have something for your shoe to actually grab onto. So that's actually really, really cool. And I, I do like that. Now, the one thing I really like where Jeep and Bronco both made me super upset was they put the license plate right down here and you'd rip it off. And I ripped it off, what, day one? or we Multiple times on both day one, first time <laughs> wheeling both vehicles, both our Wrangler and the Bronco, we ripped off our license plate they, bracket. They, they, they had it like right at the bottom here of the bumper. So as you can see, there's no license plate there anymore. And that's because Next Venture came up with a new license plate bracket mount. Now it does use the factory bolt holes because there's only three lug nuts holding the spare tire on. So he uses two of the free ones, which is perfect right here. Sits nice and visible in the rear and it's adjustable. So if you do have aftermarket wheels, if you have different widths or offsets, as you can see these little bolts down here, it slides. So this will slide further out if you have a wider wheel and it just, it, it, it's a very simple install. There's no drilling, there's no cutting, there's, there's nothing like that. And there's no ripping it off on rocks. There's no, if you rip this off on a rock. <laughs> you're doing something you're wrong. You're doing something <laughs> wrong. Now, as you can also see, it does not mess with or interfere or have to relocate your rear camera. So if you do have a rear camera, it's there. There's nothing different. So Next Venture over the past couple months has really gone above and beyond. They they have gone front to bumper to rear bumper to underneath and... But wait, that's not all. No? There's more. Oh. All right, so Kevin's making me crawl underneath the Bronco again to show you guys this because there's a couple other goodies underneath here that we want you to see. Now, one of those is super cheap, super easy, and everyone should probably have it if you own a Bronco because Ford kind of f***ed up when they designed a certain part of this, and that's the lower shock mount in the rear of these Broncos. They have absolutely zero protection. And spoiler alert, you might be able to tell, we no longer uh, have the factory shocks on our Bronco, but you'll have to wait for another video. <laughs> next video. Uh, next video to, to see a little bit more about that. But what's even worse is the factory shocks actually have a reservoir that sit right in front of the shock itself. And it's the first thing that you are gonna destroy if you hit it on a rock or you come down on a rock right at the wrong time in the wrong angle. And so what Next Venture Motorsports has done is they've created a lower shock mount bracket that offers a full skid and protection for the lower shock mount. 
Now what's super cool about these is they tie into three factory mounting locations, two here, one on the other side. And what that means is you actually don't have to remove your shock or your shock bolt in order to install these. And what that also means is when this thing has a high impact, you don't have to worry about your shock bolt coming loose or getting jarred loose over time. Now it's also made from quarter inch high strength HRPO steel, which means it's probably one of the strongest and most robust shock skids on the market. And as you can see, we kind of helped them design it so that it's super smooth, super angled. So it does work as a skid. You glide over things rather than catching on them. And on top of that, just like the skids and the sliders, it will also have a UHMW option soon. Now, something else that Next Venture Motorsport has designed and installed on our Bronco is this rear differential skid. Now it's made from combination of quarter inch and three eighths, again, high strength HRPO steel, making it super heavy duty, but not only is it protecting your rear differential, so when you come down on a rock, you're not peeling anything away, you're not losing your diff oil, you're not damaging anything there, but it also has an integrated pinion guard. So as you can see, it goes all the way up here to protect not just the pinion, but also the flange or yoke where your rear drive shaft meets your rear differential and this is huge very few rear diff skids provide this level of protection and it'll keep you going on the trail should you come down on a rock and look how look how smooth it is it is it's super like smooth ramp. it literally acts like a ramp just like the rest of your skids to make sure you're gliding over you're not catching or gripping or you know it basically minimizes your friction again there's one more thing though last thing i think that we got to show you <sighs> now, now if you see this sexy diff cover here <sighs> Did you just hit your head? I did. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's not like we have a lift or anything for these purposes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Diff cover. <laughs> There's a diff cover. It's aftermarket. <laughs> okay. What's important about this is it's not just any old diff cover. So after welding, that's the important thing. After welding, this thing is decked flat and drilled so that you have a solid, smooth sealing surface. It's a true surface. It's, it's a, a true, true surface. Zero. Not all and not many aftermarket differential covers actually receive that treatment and can actually be warped. So super smooth sealing surface, guaranteed. But on top of that, again, it's made out of your quarter inch and three eighths combination of the two HRPO high strength steel. So again, super fucking sturdy. This thing's not going anywhere. You're not gonna damage it just like god it just the, the whole like dude we left our bronco with them for three and a half months and they gave it back to us a completely new rig like it's a tank now it's a tank help help ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay you're out i'm out <laughs> you're, you, you okay okay get your phone okay good job why do we have a, why do we have a garage and a lift <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, guys, that was everything. That was absolutely. Why are you breathing hard? Because, because uh, you're dead weight on that on that <laughs> thing. That we were super dead weight. Also, I went to the gym this morning, and now you're making me work out again. It's fine, guys. We told you, just hang tight, bear with us. You would see the Bronco again, and holy crap, is she new and yeah, improved? It is. And also, I don't want to hear none of your comments about, oh, what a commercial. Well, yeah, it, it, it's. It, it's, uh, it's all the upgrades that's been done to our Bronco. We left our vehicle with them for three and a half months. Stock. And they killed it. Yeah. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Life Right Nation merch and decals at lifebrightstudios.com. And remember, you can go to nextfunctionmotorsports.com to see any of the products that we showed you in this video today. Guys, as always, we love you. And we'll, we'll see you next time. time. Bye, guys. So as you can see, we have some Baja 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 for every configuration. Big engine. Pip 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 pip.